I would next like to ask Congressman Cantor, one of the vibrant and passionate leaders in Congress, to come and share with us a few thoughts. Thank you so much. Annette Lantos family, it is really an honor for me also just to be here to play a small role in tribute to your husband, your father, your grandfather uh, in this tremendous effort. This is a week of remembrance. This is a week in which we commemorate Yom HaShoah uh, to remember the tremendous tragedy that befell the world uh, more than half a century ago. And I cannot think of a more fitting occasion on which to unveil the effort of the Lantos Foundation and the archives uh, in connection with the work, the tremendous work that memory does on behalf of peace, on behalf of justice, and on behalf of human rights. You know, Tom Lantos really was a teacher. He was a teacher across the aisle, I, I can assure you. I remember vividly on a day where he sought me out, came across the aisle, took me into the back of the chamber and sat me down. <laughs> and always was first in that to offer his time to extend an invitation, his warmth to invite me for further discussion. But it was that day I remember very clearly the clarity with which he approached this place the issues that confront us, and his job in representing the people that elected him. Uh, and in so many ways, he really, really was the moral compass of the U.S. Congress. Uh, we miss him for that. Uh, he does represent a huge inspiration uh, to us still. Uh, so I, I want to thank you very much uh, for continuing his legacy uh, in such an appropriate way. You know, it is the Middle East Media Research Institute under Egal's uh, leadership has played such a tremendous role uh, in making sure that the truth is told and making sure that we hold accountable voices around the world and in particular in those regions of the world that don't have a lot of transparency, that frankly don't have the privilege of having the truth uncovered every day. Uh, and it is that search of truth and justice uh, that Tom Lantos was always about. That's what we as members of this body always felt when he took to the floor. Uh, to make his position known, we knew it came from the heart, we knew it was the truth, and we knew from where it came given his tremendous life experience. So Annette, thank you. It's, it's my honor to be here and wish you very well.